Hey guys, today I'm going to be working on this Dell Inspiron 1525 and I'm going to show you guys how to replace your Bluetooth um, connection because this this has a Bluetooth connection that's underneath the keyboard here on this laptop and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So first, before we get into this, i got to flip this over here. Let me get the back here so you guys can see this. And I have to take the battery out. Make sure you take the battery out. And underneath the battery, let me get this into the shot so you guys see what this is here. There are two screws. One right here and one right here you get close up of that you guys can see that so there's two screws where the battery came from and you have to remove these two screws one here and the one over here because these hold your keyboard down and you won't be able to take it off so make sure you get those two screws out of there there's two of those and flip it back over this bend your let me get this out of my way bend your screen all the way down like that then get you a little screwdriver to pry up this little there's a little indentation right here as you guys can see that pry that up like that, you see that? And then get your way down slowly. Don't be in a rush, just slowly work it and it comes right off. As you can see. Now there's connections on here. I won't be taking those off because that's that's extra work. I don't want you guys to be doing. You don't have to disconnect all this okay so I'm gonna save you guys a lot of work so next is there's screws that hold your keyboard down there's two right here there's one over here and one right here those are both Phillips so get that out of there get the other one out here those two and your keyboard comes up you gotta pull it so pull it this way going up and it'll come on latch from the bottom because these stick underneath the edge and hold it in so pull those up and you'll see a control ribbon with with a um, connector here just bend this get it out of your way you don't have to disconnect it just make sure it's out of the way and it's not interfering with anything okay then let me get you guys a shot here this is the Bluetooth card on this Dell Inspiron 1525 okay get a little closer here this is it right here. It's just connected right here. And it has one Phillips head screw right here. And just take that off. And it comes right up. And it just has one connector on here. I'll try to do this with one hand. Hopefully I can do it. Uh, probably not, but you can see it's right there. So you just have to disconnect it there it is and get you a new one right I got the new one connect it it's very simple connection connect it and then put it right in the little slot
and put your screw back in your one little screw and it's done it's in installed and then like I said I didn't re move all these connectors so it's easy to put everything back in so move over a little bit here and all you have to do is flip the keyboard back up make sure that you get the little edge that's sticking and the bottom here let me show you these little edges underneath here like that and it's down flat then you can replace your two Phillips screws so put those two back in there you go then put the touch screen cover back down and start from your left hand side okay get that left hand side in first and then press it down you'll hear it hit the locks back in place you can feel it you'll hear the clicks okay and then that's all seated in place turn this over flip this back over and put your other two Phillips head screws back in to hold your keyboard in place okay now your keyboard is back in place and you can put your battery back in and this is guys it's set up and ready to go everything back in place perfect like it was when you started okay now thanks you guys for watching the video I hope it's help helpful to you someday in the future or if you just work on these computers and you want a quick tip so thanks for watching the video and I hope you stop by again to check out my channel bye bye